Hello, Nana here. Welcome back to Duskers. Last episode, we explored this salvage class sea ship. This episode, I'm thinking we push down here. So then, next episode, we can go here. And then we still have enough fuel to head towards the Stargate and see what that's all about. And if we are lucky and find a lot of fuel, maybe we can adjust our plans to also include this one or some of the other ships. But for now, let's head in here. So, we jumped. Let's explore. So, this is... It's a volatile ship, as with the previous one. It's a medium integrity, there's two types of infestations. Likely, it's the purple things and the, fl swipe, bleh, the fly swarps. Let's see how this goes. Hey, we have an email. Hey, thanks for the quickly reply. Search taken. Blah blah. Didn't get back onto the ship till yesterday. Passed your message to onto Tommy. Says thanks for taking care of things back home. That is due some credit. Week, so he'll fire you a message then. He think about Solomon's restaurant for the week, and I'll chat you. This doesn't seem anything. This is just random communications between people. Doesn't actually seem tied to the bigger plot at home. Just people not suspecting things would go horribly, horribly wrong. But that's the thing with getting murderized or something. You never expect it. So let's uh, let's begin. So let's uh, do some scouting. There's a, a drone called Hell over there. Let's open door here. Something red over there. There's power here. Room over here, there's more power here. There's another interface over there. Close doors. Close doors. Okay. Is there anything that we haven't explored yet that's open? No. Okay. Let's. Let's start. We can do a remote on R2. Poses even more rooms up there. Navigate, and then let's see. Let's go back. Do an interface. Do a ship scan. We scanned a lot more. Always activate defenses. Nothing got shot. That's promising. I'm calling that one promising. If nothing gets shot. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, and, uh, get Twiki out to do. Uh, let's see. Sarah can stand here, let Twiki can go by. Gather all the things. Also, Hell, what's your status? Hell is pretty much destroyed. Let's hope. Anything we can get out. A trap! That's new. Sonic. That's also new. Alright, cool. So, someone else can get those. So, basically, that means Sarah can pick up one thing and Corey can pick up one thing. Let's uh, tell Corey to at least get out. To keep exploring around. Do we have an interface here? I don't think we do. Okay, so four can swap. Pick up the trap. And then we just uh, set you back. Cool. That uh, pathfinding seems uh, smoother than uh, some of the pathfinding before. I'm, uh, I'm pleased about that. Let's see, uh, let's just break the power down for a moment. Just take drop Sarah. Just uh, 
craft the module. Got ourselves a, uh, a sonic thing. Thing about Bob. Might turn into a hedgehog. Uh, let's uh, just do a generator back on. Let's see, Tweaky. Yeah, Tweaky has no motion sensors. Sarah has a motion sensor. Whoop. Sarah doesn't have a video signal. Luckily, motion sensor is a different type of sensor. There's something scary in room six. Okay. Let's keep the scary in room six for now. And continue exploring. So what if we take our mouse and send mouse in here? Let's see if we do a reroute to a remote power. Just power R7 and we can do an interface. This one, do a ship scan, get a full layout of all the rooms. Oh wow, that's three sockets for modules. This is a very, very rich room, very rich. There's some loot, there's potential for fuel even there. This is this is the mother load. And there are no defenses anywhere else. Okay. That's uh This is a very straightforward ship, it seems like. Bad guy in here, mystery in here, nothing in here. Let's uh, open up D4. See if if something was in here. There should be something in here. This room is too rich not to have anything scary in it. Okay. Uh, motion. For one. There's something in room R9. Nothing there. Okay. That's uh very interesting indeed. Let's see. Uh, room, yeah, Twiggy, you are not doing anything at the moment. So let's uh, navigate you to room 7. And then this will be the adventures of Twiggy the Explorer. Into the room that should not have anything scary in it. So, exploration should not be too scary. Yeah, let's see. We found upgrade empty, upgrade empty, fuel. We found the scrap. Okay, so nothing overly exciting, unfortunately. No fuel, that's also too bad. Hmm. So, got excited over nothing. Okay, sure. That's uh, that's all fine. Let's see if we close up that one. Close up. I mean, we got two rooms that we know have bad things in them, and we know there's one room with a gun. Logical conclusion is to tie it all together. So we close door number nine. So then this thing, if we open up door 8, we let it out. We can just let go, then we open up 12. And for the same one here, if we open up D6, actually if we uh, close door 14, then we can open up D6. Yep. Then we can do a remote to seven. And we remote power room two. Then we can open up room twelve. And close D six. Oh, just 
just uh, the thing went back. That's sure, that's fine. We can deal with that. Hey, and mouse got his video feedback. That's also very uh, nice. Close the door. Scary bed should be in here now. I can't scan it, but there's only one way out. That's here. Into the slaughter. That was the thing. Okay. One scary bit chased out. So next up, we open up door eight. Until it gets a cleat. Yep, okay, so it's in room five now. Then we can open up door 13. Actually, close door 13, open up door 14. And door 12, just uh, make this into a corridor. It's too bad we can't scan both of these rooms. That's why I was initially thinking just routing it through here, because at least you see if you've caught them. In hindsight, better to actually put them in here. Then at least we know they're not there anymore. But they wandered over and got themselves killed anyway. Okay, so we have our brave, brave adventurer. Drone number three. Hey, this is a power drone, isn't it? Seems like a power drone, so. This is not a power drone. Interesting. Is there a, a hidden power socket that I'm missing? Or are they just not logically connected? So then this power socket also controls that room, I'm assuming. Remote, let's see, unpower R7. But, yeah, okay. Oh, right. I'm kind of slightly confused here now. So what does help remote say? Did I change the syntax? Powers a known inlet remotely without a drone. Okay, doesn't seem to be. So if I now say remote R7. Remote R7. Now it starts, stops, starts complaining that I can only connect one. So then I say remote R2 to unconnect. Okay, I thought I was doing that. I guess that was wrong. Okay, so we have number three. Go around. Open up door five. Nothing scary in the corridors. Door six. That's just crap. Interface. Everything else looks clear. Gather it all. That's good. And again, no power. Interesting. What am I missing? Maybe one of these rooms has remote power? I don't know. Anyway, we open up door 13. We now have a room down here that's also squeaky clean. At least ought to be. Nothing in here. Interface, ship scan. Room 4 is the only one with errors, but that is, yeah, that's the corner room. Okay, defenses are all on. Um, let's see if we open up door 9. We can navigate number 2 and number 3 into the exit. Uh, well, edit might as well navigate number 1 also to the exit. 
retreat all the drones. So, basically, the entire upper part of the ship has been scanned. Only thing that's. Let's see, on the power, remote R2. Okay, we have a blind drone 4, but we don't really care. Let's close up the signal, remote R3. So, we have this part of the ship that's now under our direct control. We can do a motion on drone number 2. Now we see what's in room R3. So, if we open up door 7, and we wait for 10 seconds. If anything is in this teeny tiny room, it will wander over. Yeah, something wandered over, so we know something is up. Okay. Then we have door number nine. Let's uh, lead them into the big room. Because we don't actually need to kill this thing, whatever it is. Come on, leave it. You know you want to. Come on. Shoo, get out. Get out. Come on. It's not wanting to. Hmm. Okay. Let's box it in. Fine. Let's uh, dock up on A2. We know it's there. We can just keep it there. So, let's see. We can open up. A2, navigate our salvager Twiki to uh, R5. There you go. A little bit of manual piloting. Now we can go. Do -do 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 -do. Whatever is down there is still stuck in room 3, so you can just move to the side, open up door 15 and have a look. And we found scrap and uh, a vent and an interface. Interface. Scan. That doesn't add any new information. Okay, uh, let's just uh, it. All, all the drones should be heading back home now. We leave A2. And this is yet another successful salvage. Really bummed that. This room, it had so much potential, but it didn't pan out. Upside, nothing got lost, we only gained stuff. Well, we expended a little bit of fuel, but that's uh, that's life. We now have 24 pieces of scrap, that's useful. And we got a sonic and a trap thing. Let's see if the, the drone config tells us anything of what they do. So, sonic, activate the sonic pulse that repels organic threats. So purple robots, not useful, but those swarms, I'm assuming, work. Drops an explosive trap. That's one of the first actual weapons that we found this series. That seems useful. Hmm. Let's see, a lure and a trap. That seems like a very potent combination on a combat drone. Actually, thinking that this shield is now the weakest bit on this. Might actually take the shield off. Because most of the time, you put down the lure and then the trap, I'm assuming. If you have a situation where you know where the enemy is, but you have no way to actually get them to a gun turret, so you have to improvise. So the lure will make sure they go there, and the trap presumably kills them don't need a shield 
Shield works very, very, very well with the stealth module and a speed boost. And again, stealth module also works very well with the interface and the gatherer. Stealth works very, very well with everything. Uh, but now we still have two module things open. Which allows us to at least pick up two modules if need be. Zack is still in, uh, in this repair. At this point, uh, let's just repair the Zack. Saving up some modules, but let's uh, do a full repair. And uh, let's execute that. Oh wow, this repairing of the drones. Uh, this is actually a fixable condition. That's uh, less than stellar. All right, let's uh, fix that. So now we have two drones that are in perfect working condition again. And Corey is oh, they're all cool. Okay, wow, I think that's uh, that's pretty good for one episode. So I thank you once again very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.